Hey, good morning. Chuck here at Apple Drains. Today we're down in Sarasota, Florida. And as you can see, we're going to cut out a micro channel drain. And these are the inch and a quarter or inch and a half drains that run around a pool deck. So we've already cut that. Next, we go ahead and try to get some of this concrete up that's kind of a mush. Just use the flat shell. We'll try to get up as much as we can so we don't keep tracking it all. So basically what we're doing is we're pulling out that concrete. We'll just use a pry bar and um, we do have our jackhammer available, as you can see, but the pry bar works far better than the jackhammer. In the corners, we'll probably have to use that hammer to, because it's poured right up against the foundation. They put this channel drain against the foundation. Typical Florida home. It looks great, but yeah, you know, it should be a couple inches away, but that's how they do it. So once you have it all cleaned out, you know, get all your debris out of there. We're just gonna rinse off the area. We'll let this dry for just, you know, a little teeny bit because we wanna keep working. But we, we just don't wanna have such a mess when we pour our concrete back. Micro channel drains, not very deep. And even at any channel drain, it doesn't matter. It, it sits at the bottom of the, the concrete. It's all the deeper it needs to be. If you take out too much dirt, you've gotta put something in there to fill it so it can set upon it. So we've got plenty of concrete what we'll do is we'll use a dry mix just to level that out and our micro, micro channel drain will set on that concrete. So this is the slowest part of the job, just to clean up before you can pour any cement. It's got to be nice and clean. We've got a, got a good corner over here looking real good. We'll wash all that off. Let's take a look at the discharge. So right here, there's a, there's a screen lanai, a piece of aluminum, strong steel right here. What we do is we just pound it out, the old channel drain, if you can see that. You see the little tunnel underneath of there? We pound that out, and we're going to slide our new piece right through there. All it does is discharge right to the outside of the lanai. Outside the so lanai. now we're just cleaning out the barrel, because we had it really messy. We need to have a nice clean barrel for the concrete. And you hear that blower back there. What we're doing is we're just kind of drying off the area a little bit. It helps. Oh, yeah. We're just blowing the area off. And that trench is where we'll put the new micro channel drain. So putting the concrete back into the channel drain is really tedious work. You can't put pressure on the channel drain. You can't really even touch it. You just got to pack it in on the sides. And <clears throat> make sure that you get underneath of the thing when you uh, trowel it down in so that it stays put. Yeah, always stuff it down in so you hit the bottom and you can see how far that sunk down. So now we've got to put more. And it's just a real slow process. We'll get it all in here and then we'll finish it off and we'll be all done. So as you go along, you can see it looks messy, but remember that there's tape on the top. So we just keep on going. We'll come back, we'll wipe off the tape when we're all done, let it harden, and then you just pull off that tape and you've got a real pretty channel drain that goes through. So we also cleaned the downspout drain because it's been overflowing and of course causing that channel drain just to get even more debris in it. We found out that that line comes right out here and you can see the pop up and it was just full of mud and roots and debris. But now, got a pretty good flow coming down through here so we'll put the pop-up back on show the homeowner where it's at so we cleaned the line you can see the root system just tremendous line basically just comes out and comes right underneath of this little palm and stops hey this is Chuck with Apple Drains reminding you that if you believe you can do something I guarantee you can do it have a great day